Okay, this again is another predictive programming. I can't remember where I found it. Um, basically, this guy um, wants to show that entertainment can cause pain, but pain is limitless. And, um, you know, you just have to suck it up. And, um, yeah, and it's all for, like, what's happening in the world right now. Clickbait and money and finances and views and pop popularity. Um, logic and common sense seem to have gone out the window. Um, I look at him and he reminds me of that guy from Zoolander, you know, that, that whose dad has passed away now. Um, yeah, so to see all of this, look at the pain and um, it's just crazy and he even says it's ludicrous what we're doing. We're killing ourselves for viewing and entertainment. That is not gladiator, wartime shit. I don't know what the hell it is. But anyway, don't do it. Don't do it. Bye. Uh, some serious athletics involved, but wrestling does tend to pull a dark side out of me and it tends to push me toward taking risks and, and I'm not sure exactly why that is. It's just, I have an aptitude for um, surviving and thriving in a violent environment and, and deathmatch wrestling is that sort of environment. You're willingly um, going in a ring in front of a live crowd and injuring yourself, drawing blood, you know, breaking bones, having concussions, you know all these things are going to happen, yet you still willingly participate and um, it's dysfunctional. You still willingly participate and um, it's dysfunctional. I mean, there is a fun uh, factor for sure, but you know, there, there's, there's obviously something um, not quite right going on. And I said very plainly, I was like, listen man, every day, because of the stunts that you're remembered for, CZW gets new fans. Every day. Without question. You search crazy stuff on YouTube, you know, stuff that we're kind of uh, infamous for. And you will see that guy. <laughs> I just can't fathom about how he does that. Two stories, all the way down. Boom. Chicago, Mason Bloom, up at this balcony, to the floor, some 20, 25 feet, through a cable. That was crazy shit. Unaffin' believable. To this day, the stuff that the man did in the ring still holds weight. <laughs>